Welcome back guys. I'm Allie Lee. Jayla Sue. And today we're going to be talking about what women really want. Mm -hmm. What do we want? Well, I think it's pretty simple, but... Uh, what? I'm, I'm a Pisces, <laughs> so it is super not simple. Oh, wow. Well, uh, somebody help me know what I want. Uh, <laughs> well, the Gemini in me, I go with the flow. Yeah. So, fair enough, I like fair enough. to flow. But, yes, there is a lot of questions around what women want. And men ask us quite often, what is sure it do. that you do? Yes, yeah. they do. And we have Harry here to help chime in, <laughs> to give us his uh, opinion and two cents on that. So what's the first thing that comes to your mind when men say, what do you want? Well, my mind goes basically completely blank. Um, so I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Mostly I have a problem. No, what I want as a woman is a very strong and attentive man. Mm -hmm. A very masculine man who is also very vulnerable. I think that's mm. super, super hard to find. It is very hard to find. And mm. I agree with you. There's something really nice about having a man who takes the lead, but allows you to be you, truly who you are. And yeah. a lot of men, from my own personal experience, uh, <laughs> has not been easy. Um, because they struggle. They, they struggle with... Uh, letting like that control and being comfortable with trust really is a huge huge thing if you don't have trust you don't have anything and right. that's with any friendship across the board completely right. but with men in particular especially if you're in the modeling industry like we are uh you have to have you have to have a man that's going to smack you on the ass and get you out the door and say babe go get it i love yeah. you i think that don't make that money. i think that is definitely a problem we deal with a lot of insecurities as women mm -hmm. from men projected onto us yeah um and i think it was different in our 20s we Absolutely. didn't it didn't hit as hard it didn't feel quite as insulting and in your 30s it starts to feel like uh, a bombardment of energy as opposed to being hit on or flirted with you know i think that also because of social media now that there's a lot more pressure yeah with, with the modeling industry yes. yeah because masculine like you said like take control but like at one point, yeah. you guys also seem to really want a lot of control. It's a nice give and take. If you can find that nice Support, balance, right? you want a supportive partner across the board, supportive friends, really, I mean, when it comes right. down to it. But for, for women in particular, uh, a man that's going to, I love a man that takes control a little bit, you know, sure. and like, I'm, I feel safe and strong. So I think what we're Confident. talking about is us feeling the ability to feel submissive to a man. And that is really tricky, yeah. I think, especially yeah. after you get into your 30s. Yes, um, yes. Because you become more independent, you become mm -hmm. more of yourself. And mm -hmm. so it's that much harder to give, relinquish your own control to a man. Yeah. And the man himself has to be a true authority in his energy. You know, he has to be in his higher power. It's very but tricky. But that higher <laughs> power, that higher power would with what you're expressing, at least for me, with what I have wanted, is them still have, giving you that permission to be you, you right. know? Because especially when you're coming into your 30s, your 20s, you're still kind of figuring out who you are and you know what you're doing, at least right. I was. Yeah. And then 30s came in and I was like, holy shit, this is like next, I was loving 30s, yeah. big time. Same. And so for a man to come in and, and acknowledge the beauty of the woman becoming this blossoming flower yes is a really beautiful key element to a relationship so i think what we're saying here yeah. is that men need to work on themselves this is important that's the whole statement that's it yeah. no, i think we all <laughs> think <laughs> that we, we all need to work on women need no right? women 100 percent. but the guy should themselves. still yeah. Help with the bags, open the door, oh, yeah. right? Oh, like the 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 sure nice things that make. Oh, yes, it goes yes. a long way. Yeah, really absolutely. Does. Speaking of chivalry, what would you prefer on a first date? How would you think of your first date with somebody going really well? I've seen a lot of stuff lately about how to make a first date really great, mm -hmm. and I've seen some stuff that I was like, I think that might apply to a younger woman, but definitely not a woman in her thirties. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't work. So what would be a great date for you? Um, a great first date for me would really a man coming in and being direct. I like directness because as you get older, I don't have time to fuck around. Right. Like, don't waste my time. I am busy. I'm working. Uh, be honest. Like, tell me what your intentions are. If you're not looking for a relationship and you just want to have a one night stand, please let me know. And right, like, exactly. I'll decide accordingly. And right? I was going to say, just like, so you know, by being honest with a woman, 
they're probably still gonna fuck you. I mean, it, it no, might actually true. lead you in a better yeah. direction. Like if I think you're hot and you're honest with me, I'm like, all right, like it's maybe I'm so okay with it. But right. if I'm not in a position where I'm looking for something more serious or however I'm feeling, then I can be like, okay, that's cool and that's really hot, but I'm gonna pass you off to my hot friend who's There like, we go. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'll be like, wins. have I got the friend for you? <laughs> But directness and honesty, I love knowing the intentions right up front. Don't yes. fuck around. I Lying to me, done. You know, but and that's really prevalent date, yeah. at this point. And it's not like I want to know, are you going to get married to me? Like, sure. do you, want, you know what I mean? Like kids and like all these, you know, this long list. Being okay with expressing who you are. and But that also comes back to being a healed person. Yes. <laughs> and that's a really big thing. So when i gosh i know so many friends and we've all experienced some toxic relationship at some point absolutely and people jump right into something next and they don't take the time to heal themselves and so you bring that with you and it's really important to get to a good space where you feel good and then you are fresh to start next you know i like still being picked up i yeah. like being scooped mm -hmm. um I'd like to be taken. You know, I actually don't prefer dating because I'm a Pisces. I'm a little bit, a little bit strange sometimes. But uh, I like to be with people that I already know that I like. Okay. So if a man so asks like a friend? me out, no, I don't okay. necessarily want to date a friend. But I do want to know that I already enjoy the person. So dating is yes. hard because I don't That's want to nice. go to a formal dinner and sit yeah. down get to know you, that's crap. Yes. Um, yeah. No, it's more about having fun too. Right, you yeah. have to have a good... It's nice to have a friendship and a relationship. You have to be friends first. Absolutely. No matter what. They always say women should be taken on these lovely dates and on this lavish <laughs> expenses, all these things. I would honestly much rather prefer to hang out with a guy mm -hmm. in, in a casual setting of some kind, just chill, mm -hmm. um, have a drink, uh, mm -hmm. take a walk. I love a walk. A walk is so great. <laughs> a walk and a talk. Yeah. And then, then I would know if I would bother to spend time with somebody over dinner. Because otherwise, I just want to eat my you food know, you're and right. like, enjoy dinner, that. Yeah, dinner, you get stuck. <laughs> yes, You're exactly. stuck and you're like, right. oh shit, I can't wait to get out of here. This yeah. is really awkward and uncomfortable. And unnecessary. Yeah, like, yeah. What? Why are we dining together, bro? Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, meet, meet me on a bicycle and then you can just exactly. away from like, Yes, yeah, on a tandem bike. Oh my gosh, a tandem bike. That's there's, my best first date. I've there's so much of. fun. Do you have one? I have no. one. I, mean, I don't have anybody to ride a tandem bike. Oh my bike. god. Actually, to be honest, guys would probably like that tandem bike thing too. You would? Yeah. 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 Right? I'm so sure, right? Girls right in front. It's yeah. a nice view for them. Good well, conversation. No. So if you had to go on a first date with somebody, where would you go? Whew. Well, the movies I, are out. Restaurants are out. No, movies and restaurants. That's so that's yeah. not. I mean, because movies, you're not going to really talk to any. You're not going to talk to them. You only like, go to a movie. And if you're not attracted to them, it's like if they touch your hand and you're like, ooh, you know, yeah, I don't know. Absolutely. That just gets a little bit weird. I do love the idea of doing activities. I'm extremely yes. active. Yeah. Like, let's go for a hike. Let's pack a picnic. Bumper and, cars. You know, something fun Bible. where you're active. Paddle board. Pad paddle boarding <laughs> is a really hot first yeah. date. Oh that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I, mean, I bet it is. What's that song? What's Beyonce's song? Something about my surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, but paddleboarding's a good hot date. Anything active where you're moving, an adventure where you can stop and see some scenery. I love nature. Yeah. So I'm a big nature freak. Okay. I hiking is off my list. Okay. Do not ask me on a first date. Like, please, below the feet. Okay. All or right. What's your, what's your date? Your date? No. no. <laughs> your ideal first date. Some dude slides into your DMs, Allie. Okay. Like, yeah, that's never happened before. That's never happened before. Nobody ever uh, talks to me. Uh, <laughs> it's just sad. It's taunting. Yeah. 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 It's just a really sad time for my life. It's really sad. So sad. So sad. So sad. Um, so I, I definitely think my ideal first date would be yeah. a rented Airbnb. Uh, so oh, it's not shit. my location. It's not his location. It's on his yeah, dime though because chivalry is not dead. Okay. Um, <laughs> then what do you do to the Airbnb on the first date? Exactly. You have the option to do whatever you want. That's the thing. I okay. like to have options and I, I like, like to do whatever I want. So okay. <laughs> that works for me. Um, and then we can hang out. We can have a drink. We can do whatever. Would you cook or would you have him cook? I know how much oh. you love cooking. So 
Uh, <laughs> it's probably that. Or you can order Uber. in. We can Uber Eats. Um, yeah. yeah. yeah is, that a, like, is that worse than a restaurant? Because then like, hey, I got this great Airbnb, Airbnb come on over. Like, are you, are you assuming it's staying in the night? Yeah. Like, we're talking yeah. first date, so. This is true. Well, honestly, I think that's part of what I like about it. Oh, okay. Um, okay. There's a little mystery yeah. in the air. And All right. it gives a little spice. Okay. And yeah, for me, that makes a big difference. And honestly, like, here's a little secret. <laughs> I don't mind seeing men be uncomfortable because I like to see how they handle that because I'm very comfortable in myself. So how do you feel, you know, when, uh, when I'm, when I'm my full self, are you cool like that? Or are you going to be a little, mm. you know, um, and a house setting kind of does that. They have to, I can see that. They have to kind of adjust or they don't adjust. And that's a problem. Well, or if you are cooking together to make food, if you're bickering right away or it doesn't vibe, right, then right. you're done. Actually, that's a really good but point. Then how you it's like that a situation. Situation test run. Yeah, but I feel like I'd be the one that fails that test. And you'd be like, oh, this girl can't cook. I'm out <laughs> Dude, I've got Uber Eats on mug. I got Postmates. I've got... <laughs> no, I'm learning, guys. Our, some of our episodes are going to be, Jayla's teaching me some incredible recipes, so don't worry about me. I think my favorite first date would be just a straight up hangout sesh. A hangout sesh where I can be done when I want to be done mm -hmm. and he can be okay, done. Okay, but how are you exiting this hang sesh? Ideally, there's no exit. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, she's in it for the long haul. She's like, oh, there's no exit. I don't know about that. Enter that bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, ideally, um, uh -huh. I'd like to be able to choose a partner with whom I could enjoy the entire space of the room to the Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I have good taste in my thirties. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep an eye on you. Yeah. Okay. So back to my question. <laughs> How would you prefer to be approached on social media? Do you want to this be approached is, on social media? There, there we go. Do you want to yeah. be approached at all? Uh, me? Honestly, no. Yeah. Um, I, social media for me, that's, that's work. But you're not and insulted by it. I'm not insulted. No. no, I mean, you know, people, I, the, I get a, I get a good mix. I would say more 80% positive and kind messages, um, from men and women. And then there's like a weird chunk of just a bunch of fucking rude asshole weirdos that, yeah. you know, like, but I think everyone gets that stuff yeah. from what I understand. For sure. Um, the trolls. I don't actually get a lot the, of this. Yeah. There's some mm -hmm. trolls. It gets less and less. It's yeah. like, you know, and just ignore it and I don't care, but being approached, I mean, I love when people ask me things personally about fitness and health because I sure. love that. It's what I know. It's what I'm passionate about. So or, that's their yeah, backdoor into your Yeah. To like, be taken somewhat seriously. Absolutely. Yeah. Fair and enough. so if someone does ask me a legit question um, and I can help them in some way because I love helping other people, I'll absolutely answer and have a chat. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. I love to just make, and if I can make somebody feel better about their day or anything, then I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. I think romantically speaking, I like to be approached in a way where a man is respecting my work or he's acknowledging what I actually do. Mm. I do not like to be approached as a hot girl. Like, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It's like, cause then you know that they want you to be a hot girl all the time, you know? And that's and not feasible. We're, not, we're hot. not like, I was going to say we're not hot. So I like, you're like, we're not always hot. No, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's like. If, if a man DMs me and says, oh my God, this is an epic piece you did here. I love this mm -hmm. shot mm -hmm. and tells me why. Mm -hmm. Now I feel a little bit of connectivity and he's connected with my art and I am my art. So that means he's connected with me. You know? Which, that's, that's actually really beautiful. Yeah. And I agree. When someone acknowledges what you do. And I think one of the nicest compliments I've ever received uh, through social media in particular was... I see the hard work that you do, yes. right, like right. the sculpting that you do and the time and the dedication it takes for you to put into your work, which right. is me and my body. Right. So, and they're like, and I applaud you keep like, sometimes I just get like that and they say, keep going. And they yeah. do the little, you know, the clap emoji. And I'm yeah, like, that's super Fuck nice. Yeah, that's I love nice. Those yeah. But when you are approaching a woman, it's important to really think about your intentions. If you're just out there being a playboy, Say you're a playboy. Right. Definitely like, you know what? It. I'm out and I'm swinging my dick and I want to have fun. Do you want to have fun? 
that would be appreciated if you, you know if you're looking and for a relationship say it it would also lead yeah. the woman to let you know if she's a playboy too because yes 100 girls is playlist too uh, absolutely so i'm just saying <laughs> if you want honesty yeah. you gotta be honest <laughs> how do you okay. approach yeah i want to hear how you approach it's different for me because i have a twin brother and so like i never really friend? learned how to i didn't really learn how to like do that approach it, not till later in life right yeah, like totally. and it's better if it's like a like an introduction mutual friend yeah um versus like me trying to go up and be like try some cheesy pickup line that i never learned yes but, <laughs> you never because as a, as a twin people would always approach us like oh you guys are twins oh, or you know yeah. so then like and that yeah. would open up the conversation and then it's easy to hold a conversation it's just yeah. harder to start with uh-huh. Very interesting. Yeah. Easy to hold, hard to start. Well, the cheesy pickup lines don't work anyway. At least in my opinion. So for me, a cheesy yeah. pickup line is probably the quickest way to my heart. Because ah! <laughs> I like if you make me laugh and you're actually kidding, if, it, if you're being serious, that's well, not Well, yes. Cool. It's not, it's not like, <laughs> if you're, if you're yes. joking about it, yeah. That, yeah, that's good, you know? Um, so, Harry, we've got your opinion. Jayla, we've heard from you. Yes. I don't really have much more to offer on this topic, so. We're gonna call it a day. Thank you guys there for sharing. Go. And <laughs> if we if we learn any more about what women want, we'll bring bring it back to you guys. Well, there's a lot we want, but this was just yeah, yeah like sure. a broad subject. Right? Scratching yeah. the surface. Scratching, the surface, scratching the surface of all the things that women want from a man, life. not just yeah, yeah. Not mostly just from a man. And if you guys have any sort of you know your own insight, throw them our way. We would love, love to hear from to you. Hear what you think and love to hear what you think about what I think, what Allie thinks, and right. what our hair bear thinks. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Anyways, guys. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in, and till next time.